I had hoped not to part with you until 18 at the soonest. But with such a fine match, it would be selfish of me not to let you go. The Duke of Devonshire? He loves me. Yes, of course. I've only met him twice. I do believe you will be happy with him. Oh, I shall, Mama. I know I shall. The Duchess of Devonshire. What do they want? To see me and my new wife. You'll get used to it. How's the campaign going? Terribly. Perhaps we could use my ability to draw attention to our advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Mr. Charles Gray. Change is upon us. We shall not go back to the old ways. I fail to comprehend how far we are fully committed to the concept of freedom. Freedom in moderation. The concept of freedom is an absolute. You will give up your politics and settle down to the task at hand, providing the Duke with a son. I ask but two things when we wed, loyalty and a male heir. Is it always like this? As they say, the Duke of Devonshire must be the only man not in love with his wife. What is going on? Nothing to concern you. Mr. Gray? Your Grace. He's in love with you. My dear Bess, no, he is not. Can't you tell by the way he looks at you? Do you think of me when we're not together? Of you more than anything else. The dangerous part to choose my girl. Are you determined to make me a total laughing stock? I have one single thing of my own. You have robbed me of my only comfort! You must leave and be with me. A free woman now. Let us leave now! Georgia! I won't give him up. This will be the mistake of your life. No. I made that many years ago. All London is talking. Let them talk. You can't ask me to battle nature in my own heart. Not now. 